So today I am on a food tour with Arigato Food Tour with Japan and I am so 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 excited to be here today. We are in Yanaka Ginza which is like a very popular kind of tourist street and it's really cool because this kind of area survived not only both the earthquake but also the bombings and so that's really really rare in Tokyo so a lot of the shops you see here will still be like 80 to 100 years old and they've survived through everything and they're amazing. So we're going to make five food stuff today and it's really cool not only do they teach you about the food but they also teach you about the area so I'm learning a lot about like the shops and the area and what's going on around here so it's actually really cool I'm starving hungry so let's get to our first stop that are shaped like a cat's tail so I'm super excited to try it. Look they have English on their menu too which is really handy. The flavors they look amazing they're all like super sweet. How do I choose? Here we go I got the choco chip. It doesn't really smell like much but mmm Oh my goodness, that is so good. That is not at all what I expected. It's kind of like crusty on the outside and like nice and soft and moist on the inside. It's a little dry, but that's really good. <laughs> this is the second spot, but unfortunately I have to pass this one because it is a beef katsu, but apparently they're really, really super popular and they've been here for over 80 years. So if you do see this one, make sure to give it a try. And this is Suzuki Menchikatsu. This is their most famous dish. They also do a curry croquet that's quite popular. very very strong. Yuzu is like a citrus fruit. It smells very strong and the the flavor of the citrus still lingers even like I expected it to just disappear and taste like sake but it's very very light but yet has a bit of depth. Very fruity. Very easy to drink. I could see myself finishing that very easily in summertime. That's delicious. So all of the sakes here are like 500 yen for that massive big cup really cool and also if you buy food from somewhere else on the street you can feel free to come and like sit here and eat it and have a drink it's really cool they like to support the other businesses on the street so it's really cool lunchtime we're gonna go to this like Kyushu shop it's called an antenna shop and it's to help promote tourism to the Kyushu area so they bring in local things from Kyushu that maybe you might miss or you might want to try from Kyushu so you can come here how cool is that like a fish like I expected it's like a fish cake fish how cute is that it's also served with rice vegetables and a bit of tamago and a soup we 
have now got a hojicha coffee, which is like a tea and coffee mix. And I don't drink coffee, but I am super excited to try this. How cute is this set? made a little stop for a little after lunch snack um, at this little shop here. These are quite reasonably priced, like actually really cheap. 80 yen, 100 yen, 200 yen. Usually these are upwards of like 200, 300 yen. This is a fried manju, so it's kind of hard. Let's give it a try. Mm. It's like super sugary and like crispy, like a donut with um, red bean paste, I think it's like. Mm, it's really good. I couldn't help myself. I had to buy one of these. They just look so good. Strawberry fromage. Yum. Also, check out the prices of these. You can get 10 for 110 yen. Do you guys like these are 10 yen per piece? 6 for 150 yen. 6 for 150 yen. The price of these are just so cheap. I've never seen them so cheap before. It's amazing. It's a cute little antique kind of tea house here. The staff seem so sweet so far. And there's like a little tatami mat room here. And they have like chairs. So usually on a tea ceremony, you kind of sit on this tatami mat. But for the foreigners, yeah, they've put chairs for us here because it can be quite painful sitting on your knees. chose is uh, the oldest one they have here I think it was like 370 years old and it's actually made in China was made in China we now have some hojicha let's try Smells like tea. It's tea, right? That's a beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have finished for today. That was awesome. The tour started at about 10:30. It's just finished now at 1.30. I'm super hyped up on tea and it was actually really good. I don't quite like matcha tea, but that one there was really nice actually. And like having a little bit of the wagashi remnants in your mouth like makes the, the matcha so much easier to, to, to drink. Now, not only did I learn about food today, but I also learned about the area, the history. We saw 100 year old buildings. 300 year old wall it was really cool and I've been to this area three or four times before but yet I still learnt more about Yanaka Ginza today which was really really cool if you guys are interested in this tour or any other tour Arigato Japan have so many tours on offer all around Tokyo and also in other parts of Japan which is really really cool so if you guys are interested in this tour today or in any other tours I will leave the info down below I would highly recommend this tour especially if you're coming to Tokyo and you can't get to Kyoto because this area is kind of like Tokyo's Kyoto kind of thing like a little Kyoto with all the old style buildings and things like that like when I think of Japan this is what I think of like Edo style old hundred year old buildings and it's absolutely great how much you can learn on this tour about Tokyo 
So thank you guys so much for watching today. Please be sure to check out Arigato Japan. They have Twitter, Instagram, everything like that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!